people are stuck in their ways, aren't they? I noticed that Rasputin shuffle. I noticed that's made a comeback a year after. Was it a year after? A year after it first trended. I mean, it's very nice, especially the bit with the whirly legs. That is brilliant. But is there any point in which people consider doing a different dance? We can't go on like this forever, can we? I can't be scrolling through shorts on YouTube and still watching the Rasputin shuffle when I'm 75. I want something different. It reminds me of people of my generation. I'm uh, 44, I know. I know, I don't look at... The, a, a child said to me in class, I do a children's class on Saturday, and um, she said to me, she said, Teacher, teacher, how old are you? And I said, I'm 44. And she said, that is so unusual, teacher. And I said, why? Thinking she was going to compliment me. And she said, because you're younger than my mum, but you look way older. The people in my generation, they still listen to music in the 1990s. They never listen to anything new. I know some people do, but a lot of people know. Just endlessly listening to Shed 7. I've got to move. That is the beauty of life. Seeing new things, surely to goodness. It's like still playing. It's like still playing Mario Kart on the on the Super Nintendo. Any or, or looking at the same view every day for fifty years. Anyway, the, you know, some people they don't like change, do they? And they get angry with young people about change. And some young people are such lick spittles that they professionally on YouTube, because I presume that's their job, they get so many views, they professionally on YouTube appease these old bigots by criticising other young people, allowing their racism, their subconscious racism to come out. Now, one such knobber, yeah, is this guy, I was flicking through YouTube short. I really must stop. If you don't stop doing the Rasputin shuffle, I may stop. Um, it, it, it is tedious now. Anyway, so he was saying, he was saying, the five worst actors in the UK. <sighs> at, at least the Rasputin shuffle people are good at dancing. What was this guy good at? Did he know anything about accents? No, he just brought his prejudice along and made a quick video to appease old people who don't like things changing. And he said this, that the worst actor... I can't remember what he said the worst. The fourth... Oh, God, I can't remember any of them. What was the fourth worst accent? No, and it's gone. The, the, the second one... No, the third one... The fourth one was Liverpool. I don't like Liverpool Football Club because they're awful. They're the epitome of everything that is evil in the game of football. The shining light of Manchester United, on the other hand, is liking Liverpool's like, like watching Star Wars and liking Darth Vader. But, I mean, that aside, I'll tell you why people, posh people, don't like people from Liverpool. One, because they, they're not deferent. They are confident in who they are and their working class identity. Two, they're bullshit. They're really left wing and they want everyone to have a better life. Three, yeah, they're generally really funny. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I, I, they're, they're, if you meet people from Liverpool, they're generally really funny. And um, anyway, their football club's awful. Awful. Anyway, but that aside, he was prejudiced against them. That's classism, isn't it? So number two was Birmingham. Ditto. Ditto. The same as Liverpool. They're not ashamed of speaking as they speak and being who they are, so posh people don't like them. Because they should be deferent. That's a subconscious way of thinking. Right, but number one was the worst. It was young people in London. And he didn't say it, 
but it was young people, black young people, young people from ethnic minorities, who spoke in a way that he considered to be awful. Yeah? There's a plane going over, I hope it's not interfering in this video, but I'm not starting again just because somebody deviated off the flight path. And he said, he said, yeah, it's awful. And then he said it was made up. Shut up! Why have you made this video? Do some dancing lessons and do the Rasputin shuffle. No, don't do that. You're not good at that either. Or you wouldn't be doing this. You'd be doing that. Because it is a guaranteed clip winner. But, they, God, they're not putting... Oh my God! Do you not understand? Why have you made this video if you don't understand how languages are learned? Well, we know why. It's because you want clicks. And, um, yeah, so... Languages are required because of the input that is around us. And how we speak is acquired because of the input around us, innit? Yeah? That was deliberately to annoy him. Um, so, this is bollocks, yeah? And the, the fact of the matter is that the people who speak this type of language are, gem are often not white, yeah? And it is your subconscious racism that is informing your judgement here, my asshole friend, yeah? So, and also, and this has actually been studied, yeah? Who are the language innovators? Are, is it posh lick spittles? Or is it young working class kids from different communities? It's the second. They're the innovators. What they say or how we all speak at the moment. And we won't find it annoying. We won't. And I'll tell you why we won't find it annoying. Yeah? Because we'll have got over that subconscious racism. Or it will become more associated with white people and therefore acceptable. In the minds of racists like the five mo or most awful accent man. Now, there's some changes I want to see in YouTube shorts here. One, a different dance, not the Rasputin Shuffle. It was good at first and the whirly leg thing is still good, but no more. Number two, no more videos based on racist prejudices. That's James Future Multilingual. Like the video, subscribe to the channel.